<laughs> Amanda, how are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for chatting with me today. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. Oh, well, well ready to get started? I have 14 minutes, they said. Go, girl. <laughs> well, first, I'm ready. I'm ready. Give me the big questions, the really hard ones, and I'll refer them to Emily. No, for, oh, to Emily. <laughs> well, first tell me, how did I watched the movie this morning actually, and at first I was like a, a movie about monsters. I'm not sure about this, but I really enjoyed it. How did you become a part of this project? Uh, you know what? It it was um, the way we always get a part of projects. You know, they, the agents call me. They call the agents, um, and and then they call me. And they send me a script, and I read it, and I loved it. I loved the script, uh -huh. and uh, they loved me. So it was a, a is a, a match made in, um, in uh, Hollywood heaven. <laughs> so I went off to Australia. Uh -huh. And was which was gorgeous and beautiful, and yeah. ended up having a great time. Well, who wouldn't love you? <laughs> so, what actually, <laughs> what actually drew you to the the script and 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 this character? Oh, I loved it because I I, I was already uh, growing my hair and beard mm -hmm. for another project. Okay, and so I was set. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, this is perfect. I just got off this other project. And I had I had not shaved my beard yet, and I had not uh, cut my hair yet. So I was like, I didn't have to worry about uh, any kind of makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have to worry about hair, yeah. getting a wig, you know, because this guy has been out in the uh, uh, above ground for quite a long time, mm -hmm. you know, several years. And so I had to look really rough and tumbled and uh, like a, a sort of a, uh, a cross between Indiana Jones and and uh, Michael Rooker, except I wear different types of hats. So I, I looked really, I looked really rugged and ragged and and, and and ready to go. I was ready to go. I was physically looking like I have ju I just uh, uh, lived through a, a, some sort of monster apocalypse. So I was ready to go. And uh, and uh, they we got into it really uh -huh. right like pretty much right away. I I think right now through uh, the quarantine I might look like that too. I can do a part. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, boy, so you <laughs> so ahead, you yeah. I was just gonna say so you had to look down. How are yeah. you? How are you like your character, Clyde? Oh, I loved it. Uh -huh. I, I absolutely I went went wild over it, you know. Um, I, I loved the relationship with uh, uh, my my little partner, uh -huh. and she was, you know, the uh, the uh, the only thing we didn't keep in is the little story about how we first met, okay. and um, you know, obviously, both our families have perished uh -huh. in the uh, the monster apocalypse, uh -huh. right? You don't see any of that. It's it's backstory, yeah. and so that that bonded us mm -hmm. instantly when right when we first met, and um, and it was it was a beautiful little uh, uh, scene. It's on, well, you know what? Maybe maybe they'll tell. Maybe the story will be told in the. Um, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it'll be. It, it, I'm sure it'll be released, and maybe they'll have extra scenes, okay. and that scene will. Um, eventually be seen as well mm -hmm. so you've seen now, it but i loved it it was great the relationships were awesome yeah had a fun time uh the director was great michael's great uh i mean pretty, everybody was wonderful it was a, a, a wonderful time and you like you said you got to work with kids uh uh, uh animals a dog right and even oh my and, god <laughs> i had the challenges the and challenges, even monsters even you know? cgi monsters right <laughs> oh my i mean how do you stand out when you have to deal with we have to have what you have your partner is your waist height uh -huh. and and just as and smarter than you <laughs> by far um uh and then you have to deal with the dog the four-legged creature uh -huh. Adorable, running around, smart as heck, just well trained. Like, just the hero was beautiful, and that was his real name. I think was his real name Hero. Mm. Um, 
I, it was, I think it was. Okay. It was, what a great, and they had a uh-huh. twin dog, so they had two dogs that dealt that, that we dealt with, and they were great. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, as an actor, you know, coming up in the business, you 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 understand that. Okay, kids, animals, try to stay away from. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. This is going to steal the scene right away. <laughs> and you, you had them all. <laughs> Oh, I had them all. I had the months and CGI stuff as well. So we had a, but you know what? It ended up being a blast. Mm-hmm. And um, man, oh man, I, yeah, I had a, I had a great time. It looks, and it's a fun movie. That's what I was like. What uh, this about oh, monsters? Dude, and, like, and I really enjoyed it. And and now, no, I mean, not you, at all about monsters. It's about the. It it's is a beautiful coming of age. Yes. Uh, film, uh, uh, and that uh, this, this poor guy. Is the lo- looking and trying and seeking out the love of his life, and, yeah, and all this uh, uh, in the in the middle of a monster apocalypse, <laughs> and he he meets these two people that probably, I mean, have been out running around in the in the woods for like several years. Uh-huh. It was it was great. I'm def- it, it made me tear up. It, it made me tear up a lot of oh, the God. parts too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, now I mean, you have some post-apocalyptic under your belt right now. I mean, you have this. I have. You are, you're on Walking yeah. Dead, and 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 the year we're in, 2020. Everybody's saying, I mean, this might be the year for you know the pop. Oh my goodness! Right. <laughs> so, what a, what so do you feel like? Yeah, true. Do you feel that? That's what I'm saying. Do you feel like you're ready if there's one coming? Or what advice can you give us? <laughs> oh, I've been, I've been ready. I'm always prepared. I grew up being prepared. Mm-hmm. Uh, I grew up with a bunch of uh, 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 Boy Scout friends of mine. They're always. I was never in the Boy Scouts, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I, I, I wish I had been. But uh, they they would do go out and hike and mm-hmm. learn how to survive and start fires to cook with in the middle of the, uh, uh, the forest, you know, with no matches and all this kind of stuff. And I didn't realize when I was a kid that that's actually what I ended up wanting wanting to do. It's oh, wow. so much fun. Uh-huh. And I ended up going on an uh, outward bound trip. And I stayed out in the wilderness for like 34 days, and it was the best time I had ever had. I felt at home, completely at home. Wow. So this character was at home with me, yeah. and and uh, it, you know what, I, I would just be prepared. That's all I can say. My advice to anyone is mm-hmm. be prepared for anything. You always have to have... You always, as an actor, you always have to save for a rainy day. Yeah. You can't spend all your money mm-hmm. after your work, after your job. You don't know necessarily where the next job is coming from. You're an independent contractor, right? Yeah. So that's what it's all about. You've mm-hmm. got to make sure that you're prepared. Yeah. And that you're prepared for no work. You're prepared for work. You're prepared for, you know, anything that comes about, mm-hmm. uh, you know. And so that's that's kind of where it's at. And uh, I think everyone, you know, you don't have to be nervous about it or anything like that. You just, everyone should be prepared. Yeah. Period. Yeah, that's, that's great yeah. advice. So when I told my husband, though, I get to talk to you today, he was he was like, oh, I love him. From Henry, the portrait of a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's like one of my first movies. Yeah, yeah that, and that's, that's who he, that's who he remembers. And then you know when I tell my my son, of course he was like, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, it remembers him. Oh, and and yeah. me, I'm like, Mer- Walking Dead. <laughs> what? But I want to know <laughs> what has been your favorite character to play or in all the movies you've done. All the movie, oh, oh my gosh, that's that's a tough one. All you ask, you ask for the hard ones. <laughs> yeah, I want the hard ones. But yeah, that is super hard because I've never, uh, honestly, I really don't consider my my myself uh, as the type of person that has favorite. Okay. I I uh, I enjoy like even food, mm-hmm. even food or drink or any any anything. I, I really uh, I am a kind um, of smorgasbord of of 
the like, mm-hmm. you know, and dislike. I know exactly what I don't like. Yeah. But uh, as far as um, uh, movies are concerned, boy, my my movies in particular, I, uh, three or four come to mind. Days of Thunder. The yeah. character Rowdy Burns mm-hmm. was what a joy, what a so much fun to play that role yeah. and to drive those cars. What a challenging uh, 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 business these these folks are in. Very stressful mm-hmm. driving those cars at uh, 100, 200, you know, 180 mile an hour stuff. Uh, very, very uh, amazing athletes. Yeah. Uh, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. The both one end to mm-hmm. wonderful and and I can't and and, and there's I can't leave this question without saying uh, uh, um, uh, you know Merle Dixon and, yeah. and you know The Walking Dead yeah. I mean it was it's very when you look back at it there I wasn't there a lot but so know? memorable but the moments I was there mm-hmm. in uh, season three and even leading up to that you know, even that one scene on the rooftop, after yeah. that one scene on the rooftop, people were talking about Merle Dixon and the brothers mm-hmm. uh, all through season two. And yeah. I only visited season two once. And, um, but it was a very, very poignant character. Uh, you either loved him or hated him. And it was those kinds of roles that attract me. Those yeah. sort of roles attract me. The roles that are fairly extreme you uh, your, your emotions are going one way or the other mm-hmm. so yeah great choices so that, three, that, listen three, that's, man, those, I can't yeah, agree more I'm there with Sea you of love and JFK mm-hmm. JFK was a beautiful movie uh, with Oliver Stone um, there's just bunches of them yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow well we can bring it back to this movie how about you tell me any fun fact about being on the film, making this film, or just a fun fact oh, you want to give? Ma- oh, many too many! <laughs> you know, I mean, honest to goodness, we're out. We were. Uh, um, there was almost. Let's see. I, uh, uh, I maybe there was one. I don't. I don't think my character was in one single studio. We okay. were all. We, it was all out in the in the woods. In the wow! Woods and the outback, uh-huh. and that was that was the greatest fun for me. Yeah. As we talked about earlier, yeah, I just enjoy being out there and hiking, and I love nature. So that was beautiful to see all the all the all that beautiful uh, countryside, and, and I mean, it, it was just gorgeous. That's it was gorgeous. That's and those, those, those were. That was a fun, yeah. that was major fun fact. Right there. I, I agree because I would have guessed you know at least some of it in a, a what, in a green screen or anything like that with those big CGI well, we monsters. We didn't do any of that. Oh, you did. With the, the monsters, yeah. You know, the monsters aren't real. Yeah. I mean, I know you just saw it, and you know they're real, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but there was a lot of green screen stuff, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Uh, there was studio work, uh, uh, mostly. Uh, 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 other, you know, other characters did that. Yeah. I mean, um, so. Uh, so yeah, that's well. I'm getting one minute left, so I'm gonna ask one quick question because it kind of oh, left sure, off at the at, at the end. It kind of left off. Maybe it possibly could be a sequel to this. So, would you be interested if there was? I I would like to see it. I would I would love to do it. Okay. So you and I would like you'd like to see it. I'd like to do it, <laughs> and I think that just because of those two reasons, there will be there. Better yes, be. yes. Okay. We start so so. Listen, Mister, you start growing your hair out again right now. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already oh. doing it. I'm already <laughs> You're ready then. Well, thank you so much. It's been a delight talking to you. Oh, thank you. Thank have, you. And you have a great day. You, you mm-hmm. do, and I hope all your all your moms and everyone out there love it. I mean, don't be scared that it's an apocalyptic monster. It's not. It's anything um, but. I agree. You know, so I was I was yeah. pleasantly surprised how much I would love it just by the title. I 100% agree. <laughs> Go see oh, it. Go you. see it. <laughs> Go see it. It's a good, it's a, it's a thumbs up. Okay. Yes, two, two. <laughs> well, thanks again, and you have it's a great day. I love that. <laughs>